suscríbete y activa la campanita, no lo olvides. Hey, what's up, panda? Welcome to Reventor Reborn. This is Digital Combat Simulator, and I am in a F-18, and we are going to speak about the Harm High Speed anti Anti-Ration Missile. This is my first English tutorial for Digital Combat Simulator. I hope you can understand my English and Spanish speaker, and maybe my pronunciation, not maybe, for sure, is not going to be good pronunciation, but I hope make it clear for you. Uh, today I am going to speak to target of opportunity mode in the harm and for that as always you have to master arm in on then grow air to ground weapons and I have to tell you something here okay look at this I don't have any weapon selected but I can set here harm display and select target of opportunity but I cannot use my harm right now because it's not selected okay I have to push the bottom that button on harm or this harm and now it's ready okay uh, for example I, I'm going to keep the radar one receiver in the left DDI there and the right is going to be the harm in target of opportunity okay guys uh, this mode you can shoot but you are not going to know how far is the radar emitter and then you have to think you have to have a waypoint or know where is the target for example now here i have a satin okay and a sat 3 in here and also a lot of ships friendly ships enemy ships and patriot and here a hawk okay you can see all the data there uh, let's go straight for the harm system I don't know what is this function harm override okay but uh, I use it uh, turn it on like it's now now it's turning on on and I think it's something like let decide to the harm what target is more dangerous and for that reason I want to tell you to use it turn it off okay I'm going to turn it off why? Because sometimes when I fire the missile, a target that is in front of my of mine, uh, the missile okay go straight ahead, but suddenly go to the right. In this case, looking for the Sa three radar. No, no, no. I I want to hit the BB, not the FF radar. Okay. So, uh, for that reason, I think it's a a quite uh, something that let choice make a choice to the harm to select what is more priority in in flight or whatever okay what are the keys that we need to use in this tutorial first you have to set this key flip off select bottom i key well, in your hotas with this key you are going to select one thread or other also in self protect mode you use this same key to select one target or other then we need, we have to use cage on cage bottom charlie k okay? and with this one you are going to make a handoff it's like to block or to select you press select and then you hard lock and you say i am going to shoot this thing okay and of course you need you need to choose what ddi are going to use uh, for example i am going to use ddi right then i need to have the uh, right switch sensor control switch okay first uh, to select with the i key you don't need have the ddi selected but this is me cage on cage it's not working i need to set here my ddi as the one in charge in charge okay and now i can use my cage on cage to lock to make a handoff on the thread okay now i can shoot the the missile i forgot to tell you what is the shoot k weapon release button okay this is the key and it's done you already can shoot at that target if you don't want to shoot it okay again uncage the same k and select other one okay the important things in here is limit is going to limit the number of threads that you are going to see in this DDI. It's not the 
it's, it's like the drag warning receiver offset is the very same function uh, sorry no offset limit uh, special this line limit there okay and where you only see a uh, six seven thread not 120 but instead of use limit i prefer use a scan or places okay here is the mode that you want to select we are using target of opportunity uh, the step is to jump different stations step 2 station 7 station 3 station 8 and reset if you have a hard lock or handoff and something you can reset and unlock or also for example look at this i have selected the big beard also i have rectangle in the header display where is approximately the the target if i have that square in a place that i can see like this uh, cost i can i can measure and say okay i am around 40 miles but i i don't know how far the target is in this case but let's go to the point i hand off the thread if i go to other different menu for example a scan let me choose one moment here stores you see harm ready harm ready if i select a scan the harm is not ready you cannot mess up the things you when you ha hand off something you have to file if you do other thing you lose the handoff okay as you can see now i see different threads again you can see here a small arrow telling me that something is on the right something okay i can move my plane and, and look that that something but also in a scan you can see this this info in classes you get the very same info but without the internal info for that uh, these two menus work exactly the same classes and scan is the very same menu but scan is better because you know what classes are w being detecting now uh, for example i am detecting in the all class and i have a dot dot means in front of you and on the right i have something that is inside the all class table uh, fre F FRD is friendly. I have something that is friendly class on my right. I have hostile something on front. Hostile naval in front. Friendly list number one on the right. Hostile list number two on the front. Hostile uh, surface list. Um, these lists are not clear because there is no manual reference but it's kind of a for example let me say it again all is everything friendly is only the things that the system has have as a friendly because the pilot tell him told him okay hostile the very same but be careful you can have an enemy patriot and a friendly patriot because it's in the bot list you can shoot the friendly patriot uh, uh, unless even if you have hostile selected okay because that patriot it is in both list then uh, friendly naval hostile naval friendly list number one for example the patriot is in friendly list number one but the big bear that is the shutting uh, russian system is in hostile number one, uh, number two why the patriot and the sa 10 that are quite the, quite the same one is in friendly one number one and why the other is in hostile two why why the number two or, num uh, or number one i don't know okay i don't know uh, friendly surface okay perfect hostile surface for example for example this sha3 in here is a, a friendly a hostile surface this sha3 in here okay sha3 uh, what is that sha3 okay believe me this is as a three <laughs> what is the name in don't worry okay continue uh, hostile surface you can simply click on hostile surface and you can check that hostile surface okay only the ff is the sa3 system classes uh, for example hostile 2 hostile 2 is the sa10 scan uh, classes for, for example frally nothing on front something on the right scan 
on hostile everywhere uh, look at this this small circle means it's a bot okay uh, I don't know what is this class I don't really know it I don't know I don't, don't know what is that meaning but the priority class unknown class is uh, for something that you don't un know it could be a television station I don't know whatever uh, a priority class is a, a really good class because here you are going to find the threats that are, are pointing at you or shooting at you okay for that uh, it's good because you only are going to get what is pointing at you and you can shoot it but as you can see here I have the arrow on the right for me this is quite bogus it's not good implemented because you don't have you there is nothing on my right pointing at me look at this looking right looking right okay the arrow disappears because now it's in front and now it's on the left something on the right also something but it's not true and pretty crash is not true and that's all uh, the tactics for this for use the harm is going to be um, very very difficult because the sams want to survive and they are going to fire to your missiles also for example if i have only four harms i am shooting at range around 40 nautical miles almost never my harms are going to get the target i have to get down on the ground sneaking around or near the, the water in this case to avoid the radar shoot at me and when I am around 20 miles I can head up shoot 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 and get out and in, with that tactic maybe you can destroy the SAM a SAM okay SAM unit a radar but it's not uh, really easy for that you need a mate two planes otherwise to make the white whistling not only one unless that the mission editor tweak the SAM to do, to do not shoot missiles for example it could be done and that's all you need to know to the to this class uh, sorry to this class to this to to this mode target of opportunity i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if i see a lot of uh, subscribers in these english tutorials in digital combat simulator areas i will continue making them and of course, please write down uh, comments about whatever you need to know. I will answer you with no problem. As I will say in Spanish, be happy, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, don't dip stall, bye bye. No olvides suscribirte, darle a like y revisar mis últimos videos. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up and check my other videos.